Hey everyone, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Tammy. Today I'm going to show you what I did with a Hutch and China cabinet set. Everyone seems to be getting rid of these, so it's not too hard to find one for free. What I've noticed is that most of them are very good quality wood, so they can be used many different ways. Personally, I use this Hutch and China cabinet set for three separate projects. This video is concentrated on the Hutch. Stay tuned for the next two projects. I'll have them posted shortly. In the meantime, you'll see here I removed the china cabinet and we'll use that for the other projects I was talking about. So we'll set that aside. Now on to the sanding. When you sand, it's always good to take off the doors and any hardware. I was going to make this into a shelf, so I originally removed the piece of wood in the middle too, but then decided I wanted to keep it closed, so I put it back on. I'm sure you'll notice that in some of my pictures. So I sanded this with 150 grit sandpaper, and once it was done, I lightly sanded it with 220 grit for a smooth finish. You need to sand all the glossy surface until it is dull. However, I got carried away and sanded it to its core. You definitely don't have to sand it as much as I did. Again, I get a little carried away when I sand. However, as you can see, I didn't sand inside since I was keeping the doors on. And since I was using this in my craft room to store some of my crafts, I knew I didn't care if I kept the inside the original finish. Then I painted with an oil-based primer, which I can honestly tell you gave me a little difficulty. It didn't brush on smoothly. It didn't help that it was windy, so I ended up moving everything inside to finish. My camera seems to show different colors every time I take a picture of it. It's almost like a seafoam green. I did two coats primer and two coats paint. These next few pictures show what happens when you don't paint inside a little. I have a little bit of the original finish showing. So I went back and painted the edges inside. And this is my finished project. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, I will be posting what I did with the china cabinet soon. Thanks for watching.